Hello everyone, so today in this video I'm going to show you four journal finders for your article. A lot of the time I see people posting that they have written an article but they don't know where to submit. Okay, and people are also looking for journals which will publish for free. And first of all, let me tell you, most of the journals are free. Okay. Most of the times only the predatory journals, which are not the good ones, the fake journals, they charge money. But also good journals charge money when it comes to open access. But we will talk about that in another video. Okay. But also most of the journals that you will see today and the, the way I will show you how to select a journal, you, most of the articles shown there are free for publication. Okay. So let's go through one by one. So the first one I want to show you is the journal finder tool from Elsevier. Here all you have to do is put your paper title and your abstract and you can also put keywords but these two are already good enough to suggest you some articles, some, some journals for your, for your article, right? But you can also add keywords, you can also select field, you know, but I'm not, most of the times I don't do that, I just put these two here. I will show this with one of my article which is currently under review in a journal. I will not tell which journal but which is under review in a journal and I will show you use that as a kind of example. So here is my article title and as soon as this article will be published I will put the link below this video. Okay, And then I will just copy the abstract Okay, and I put it here. Then of course you can add keywords and all those things but that's okay, I can just search here and see which journals it fits with. So here, the good thing is you not only see the match, you also see the side score, the impact factor, acceptance rate, and time to first decision, and time to publication of the week. You know, So this is really a good tool uh, if you want to publish in Elsevier. Okay, so I can see the relevant journals for my article. Okay. And most of the cases, the more you scroll down, the journals will be less relevant for your paper. Okay. Most of the time, the first ones are the top ones. You can also play here a little bit to change, uh, like, let's say you want journals with side score between one and seven. You can do that. You can, you want journals with decisions under eight weeks. You can do that too. You know, so yeah. You can only go for open access journal or journals with subscription. You don't have to publish in open access. For open access, you have to pay money, but you don't have to. You just go for journals with subscription. There you don't have to pay, and that's great. Universities which pay for the subscription, they will have access to your article, and that's totally fine. If you have only funding from your institution or from your project, only then go for open access. Now, the second one is Springer Journal Suggester. Here is the link. I will put all the links below the video as well. Okay, so here it works the same way, the title and manuscript text. Here, uh, I would most of the time just uh, copy my abstract here and the title, I will copy it from here too. Okay, so I will just put it here. The problem is that not all the journals can be seen from one source you know for Elsevier journals you have to go for Elsevier journal finder for Springer you have to go you have to come to Springer journal suggester and that's okay you can also suggest some areas here but I'll just leave it blank and I'll go for suggest journals so here I see the suggested journals okay And also here, similarly here, we see if the journal su supports open access and a subscription. Some journals like this one is only open access. So here, if you want to publish here, you have to pay some money, right? But if you don't want to pay money, just go for the ones which have subscription, okay? And you can see the impact factor, the first decision, average decision, and the acceptance rate of the journal as well, okay? So that's how it works. Again here, it is expected that the, the one in the top are most relevant for your article compared to the ones in the uh, coming later, okay? So the third one I would like to show you is Journal Finder from Willy, okay? You will again find the link below the video. Here, 
again I will just put the title and I will copy the abstract and I will find here again you will see information like the editor of the journal, the impact factor, the ranking of the journal, and if we have open access optional or not, and here the relevance level. Okay. So here again, you see, I see some journals which can match with my article. Okay. Yes. So you can do it like this. So now here we are in the IEEE journal recommender okay so here we have few options like here whether we can choose whether we want to go for conference or periodicals periodicals means journals or we want to go for only journals or only conferences my interest is on journals actually here and then you can here put keywords or key phrases or the title of the article if we want to use the abstract you should come here let's say for instance here i select this and i put my abstract here i copied it earlier so i just pasted it here and then I'll go for get recommendation. And here are my suggested recommendations. Okay, here we can see if open access is possible, the impact factor of the journal and submission to publication timing. Okay, so the in weeks. Okay, so these are really helpful. This information, the time the journals take, these are really helpful. Here you see the IEEE access is really quick. Okay. And you can also use this option, but I think this one will be more relevant compared to this one because here you can only put the keywords and title. But we can quickly see. Okay, so I will just go back to my article again and copy. And I'll paste it here and then update recommendation. Yeah, I get only IEEE access. Okay. And one more thing is here you can actually suggest the date. So Let's say you want you want to publish within next two months. So you just set the date here, and then they will show you journals who which can proceed process your article within that time. Okay, so you can have a, a date here as well if you want. Okay, let's say if I go here and update recommendation. So I get only articles which can process within that time. Do I? Hmm this article is actually taking longer time but i think their first decision uh it takes less time that's why they're there that's why we can see it here but anyway so that's how these four tools can be used for journal publications uh, for for suggesting the appropriate journal for your article and again i'm repeating you don't have to pay anything for publications most of the time it is free only open access is only for open access you have to pay a charge but don't you have, don't have to go for open access you, you do not have fund and please avoid predatory journals for when publishing and if you don't know much about predatory journals see my video link below and top and i think that will help you to avoid them and thank you for watching if you have any 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 questions or comments please leave below and i will get back to it as soon as i can Thank you.